only development that could be north of, of Lowndes County and very little development is in the south side of the county. How does that become? That, the map that you see here was developed um, with consultation between the city and county land use planners, our um, local officials at each of the cities in Lowndes County and the surrounding counties. Uh, so that was where they felt at the time that development would be occurring in their own communities. Uh, and that was new development over the next uh, 25 to 30 years. I have a question. <clears throat> You're showing us uh, things like population density of 2010 and then 2040. Is there uh, a plan to reassess the growth patterns in between 10 and 40? That's exactly the process that's starting with the visioning that's going on today. Okay. And in yeah. fact, there's a public meeting tonight, yeah. right? So there, there is a public meeting tonight to discuss for what we're calling the uh, Valdosta and Lowndes County Common Community Vision. Uh, but aside from that, every five years, we're required by federal law to reevaluate our growth areas, to reevaluate our transportation projects. So, yes, every five years we would be redoing this okay. uh, and reevaluating where we're at. Uh, there could be some major changes. Okay. And, uh, and, and this year, only a suit, we're only putting into this what assumptions we made at the current time. We don't know what's going to happen in three years. So, there may be something major that changes things in three years and we just don't know that so okay we'll reevaluate that when that time comes i have one other question i inquired with this one so being you saying it this way that means that there's a possibility that there can be some more development on the south side but there's the majority of the low-income people that where we don't have very much uh development there so things will remain the same in these communities and neighborhoods, we don't need the development at the time. So this, there can be some changes. You oh, say? this does not exclude anything from happening um, at all. This is just what we what we assume would be happening. We don't it's know. A prediction. It's a prediction. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a prediction, and also those maps are detailed enough. For instance, she talked about water and sewer as an influence over growth. So you take things on the south side of Valdosta, like the Miller Business Park where there's a property that's been invested with all of the necessary infrastructure in three to four years. Hopefully, there'll be a 1,000 jobs or 2,000 jobs in that area because it is now poised for growth. So those things can't be predicted. There's no jobs right there now, but of course the infrastructure is there for planned development. The land's acquired, it's all in, and you know that's the goal. So we've invested a significant amount in the southern part of our city in infrastructure to support job creation. Okay, so there is something promising that yeah. could make These, these are basically trends. It's, it's taking the past with, with, with some additional um, modeling and predicting the future, but it's never with certainty. There's nothing that says that's how the community will grow. That's just sort of planning tools, looking at the past, looking at the future, but also taking into account, as she said, things like water and sewer. Okay. Growth is typically going to follow infrastructure. Okay. okay. There's one other point. Uh, one of our traffic problems has to do with truck traffic going through the city of Valdosta as opposed to going around the city of Valdosta. And from a transportation point of view, that's one of the problems that we're looking at to see if we can't improve that area. And that might have something to do with the uh, increase in industrial activity and population to the south. The city has long had interest in working with the DOT and others to remove truck traffic from inside the city, but those are state federal routes, so we're having to work together. We've been hopeful that with about an 18-month overpass project requiring trucks to go around rather than through the city, that can be the emphasis in the future for prohibiting truck traffic through our city. And there is some encouragement right now for them to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems to be working right now. I don't know. I've followed three grain trucks. <laughs> <laughs>
a while ago, and if I hadn't had to come to this meeting, I would have followed them to see where they were going, but uh, three of them right in a row, one behind the other coming through there. Okay. Well, we have uh, Ms. Whitney and Dr. Meyer, are there any other questions while we have them? No. Thank you both for making the trip down. Thank you. Thank you for your work. We appreciate your efforts very, very much. Forward to using in the future. Thank you. Thank you.